Hello everyone, this is your Lekkal Master Ruharagopal. In this video, we are going to discuss about the graph of linear equation, which is the most expected question and most important for any board exams, that is graphical solution of any given system of linear equations. So without wasting time, first of all, let me take one example here. What I'm taking 2x plus 3y minus 9 is equals to 0 and x plus y minus 4 is equals to 0. So this is the given system of equations and they are asking to draw the graph or solve graphically whatever it is. So now before going to start this problem first of all we must know that how many types of graphs were there when you are taking any system of linear equation and if you know that only you can understand the procedure the how the graph of this problem is going to be. So we know very well that is nothing but uh, when you draw the graph of any given system of linear equations either you may get uh, intersecting lines like this or parallel lines like this or coincidental lines like this. So now when we are going to get intersecting lines when the given system has unique solution we get un intersecting lines when the given system has no solution we get parallel lines and when the given system has infinitely many solutions or many solutions we are going to get coincidental lines then how can we say that whether the given system has unique solution or no solution or many solutions that is pretty simple so if a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 then we can say that the given system has unique solution then only we get uh, intersecting lines as the graph now when the a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is not equals to c1 by c2 then we say that one given system has no solution that means that we are going to get parallel lines and a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2 then we say that given system has many solutions in that case we are going to get coincidental line so before going to start any problem graph we must know that how many types of graphs were there now coming to this one so based on these three conditions if you are able to check that uh, before starting of the graph only you will get some idea that how the graph is going to be so now here simply i am writing what is a1 what is b1 what is c1 and similarly what is a2 b2 c2 so that what you are going to get a1 is equals to 2 b1 is equals to 3 and c1 is equals to minus 9 similarly a2 is equals to 1 and b2 is equals to 1 and c2 is equals to minus 4 so first let me check for the first two terms only so that what you are going to get 2 by 1 and 3 by 1 so if you do cross multiplication 2 and 3 which are not equals to each other simply we can say 2 not equals to 3 or you can say a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 which means that this system is going to give you an intersecting lines in the game graph whatever you are going to draw so before starting only we got some idea that how the graph is going to be so now let me arrange all this one let's start so one more important thing here most of the people used to think that so minimum four to five points should be taken to get the exact graph on the graph sheet but it which is not essential just by taking two points we get exact graph so now let me take the equations in separate way like this 2x plus 3y minus 9 is equals to 0 and x plus y minus 4 is equals to 0 and I am taking a separate boxes for this one and taking x and y x and y. So now here let me start for the first equation assuming that x is equals to 0. What you are going to get if you substitute 0 in place of x. So you are going to get 2 into 0 plus 3y minus 9. And if you continue, you are going to get y is equals to 3 as the value for x is equals to 0. So let's just write y is equals to 3 there. So simply you can see that one point you got already that is 0, 3 which lies on y axis only. So now coming to if y is equals to 0, then 2x plus 3 into 0 minus 9 is equals to 0. So 2x minus 9 is equals to 0, x is equals to 4.5 or 9 by 2 whatever it may be value. So if you take 4.5 comma 0 is another point for the first line. So just with these two points only we can get exact line in the graph. So now coming to the second equation. So so simple comparingly to the first equation. So just keep on doing the same thing. If x is equals to 0 what you are going to get 0 plus y minus 4 is equals to 0. y is equals to plus 4. 
And similarly, if y is equals to 0, x plus 0 minus 4 is equals to 0. Similarly, you are going to get x is equals to 4. So, you are going to get 0, 4 and 4, 0 are the two different points for the second equation. So, now, without wasting much time, we can go to the graph. So, let me have a look at the graph. So, most important thing here is, when you are taking the graph, we must mention where is x axis and where is y axis. Similarly, most important thing is a scale. So, on x axis, each centimeter, how many units you are considering. Similarly, on y axis, each centimeter, how many units we are considering that you are supposed to mention as a scale. This uh, mentioning both the axis and scale is also important thing in the graph. Now, coming to the first equation and one, another important thing here is uh, most of the people used to locate all the points together in the graph later on they are going to join this one. So, there is lot of chances is there to commit the mistake in this particular thing. So, the best way is uh, completing one equation, drawing the line, writing the equation, everything then only you are supposed to go for the second equation. So, first here 0, 3 that what you are going to get on y axis you are going to get. So, on y axis the point where the 3 appears is nothing but the 0, 3 for us. So, let me write 0, 3 as like this and uh, what about second point 4.5, 0. So, take 4.5, 0 on the x axis and please write 4.5, 0. So, Without having any confusion on the axis only, we got exact values, exact positions. So that then you just join and indicates arrow marks in both the directions. And write the equation whatever you are taking as a first equation. So writing the equation, plotting the points, drawing the line, putting the arrow marks, everything should be there for the equation or for the graph. Now you are coming to the second one, so simple 0, 4 somewhere you will get above this point 0, 4 and 4, 0 on x axis. So 0, 4 and 4, 0. Let me join this line also. So if you observe carefully, they are going to intersect at some point. Why? Because it has a unique solution. And before noticing that point, first of all, finish the any balance things here yes we forgot to write the equation so write x plus y minus 4 is equals to 0 so i wrote points and equation everything and if you have a look at this one both the lines are intersecting at 3 comma 1 you are supposed to write as the solution of given equation or given system of equations is 3 comma 1 so my dear children clearly you got entire information on the graph as well as the solution also we got one of the most important for board exams hope i discussed clearly and here i am giving you some problems here three problems for unique solution and three problems for no solution and three problems for many solutions and i think it's very clear that if you have unique solution it we get intersecting lines See, if you have many solutions we get um, barrel lines if you have many solutions we get coincidental lines so, so keep practicing all uh, nine problems which are mentioned here my dear children hope you understand everything here we'll meet in the next video with another topic until then take care bye bye your slack master